There are four words that can wake up echoes, hail conquering heroes, and shine a light on the best of college football. Four words that turn summer into autumn. Notre Dame versus Michigan. Two giants who first clashed way back in 1887. For over a century, mud-covered golden domers have tussled with the guts and glue of the maize and blue. Epic battles punctuated by legendary names. For the end zone, touchdown, Michigan! And now, for just the second time in history, the Big House will light up the night sky for a celebrated rite of fall. The final chapter of these two storied programs in this spectacular setting. And it begins, as always, with those four simple words. Notre Dame versus Michigan. A time ago, a very special ceremony down at the middle of the field. Another number for the Michigan legend, and that is Mark Harmon, the son of the great and late Tom Harmon, who wore number 98, and while wearing that number, won Michigan's first Heisman Trophy. Now that number will come back for the first time since 1940, and tonight, one of the Michigan players will be honored he will wear number 98 for the rest of his career. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is number 98. And yes, it is the quarterback. Devin Gardner gave up number 12 because he was honored by wearing Tom Harmon's famous 98 here tonight. They don't retire numbers at Michigan anymore. They honor players who they think deserve to wear this number. And so here you are, your quarterback, wearing Tom Harmon's old number. 6'4", 210 pounds. He'll escape, but the difference between he and Denard Robinson, when he escapes, he's looking to make a big play in the pass game. He does a good job of keeping his eyes downfield. Fitzgerald Tucson, Fitz as they call him, back as a running back. He gets the first carry because he also tore up a knee, and he too has been <laughs> targeting. Chip in the interior of Michigan's offensive line. Second and ten, Gardner's first pass of the night is complete for eight yards. And two, Nicks gets up over the center. First year as the starter is Jack Miller, gets off a perfect snap. Throwing great grab for the first down, Drew Dillio makes the grab and the chains move you folks if you haven't seen Devin Gardner tight in formation right now play action Gardner fires complete for another first down he's thrown for two first downs already Joe Reynolds the senior from Rochester Michigan their answer to his speed bring pressure they're bringing the double reverse this time Gallon, Jeremy Gallon got the corner for another first down. It's a big third down now. Gardner has to throw this one away. It was under enormous pressure, and Austin Collinsworth, all over the quarterback, Evans, has 14 straight consecutive field goals that ties Remy Hamilton who's here tonight this is a 44 yarder to make it 15 straight this would be a Michigan record and he's got it 15 consecutive field goals for Brendan Gibbons the senior from West Palm Beach Florida Notre Dame though stopped him short of a touchdown second at nine and again, Tucson trying to bounce it outside and finds a lane. Dashes for a first down. Play action from the pocket. Downfield strike wide open against his own defense. Gallon breaks a tackle, comes free. Heads in zone. Forget about it. That's what bad tackling will do to a defense. A 61-yard touchdown on first down. Gardner.
to his go-to man of a year ago when he quarterbacked five games to close out the season, Jeremy Gallon. sideline and that is complete for a first down to Corey Robinson the son of the great basketball player David Robinson big here. I think they're gonna have to try to take some shots downfield Michigan's defense is really squeezing these receivers does fire deep middle got it complete Devaris Daniels he brought the pass protector in help pick up the rushman and then does go to number seven T.J. Jones, a week ago, six for 138 yards, and folks, he pounds. That's, that's, that's a gimme for Tommy Reese. And 18 yards later, they come back with a hole on the right side for Amir Carlisle, and he bangs across the five-yard line, so it's going to be second and goal. Very important sequence. Now, it's up to Tommy Reese on this third and goal. Fires Yes, touchdown off the deflection, and Jones working in the back. Atkinson had a shot at it, number four, and off of George, it was T.J. Jones coming along the end line who makes the ricochet catch. Atkinson out of the backfield, the ball just goes right off of his hands, and there's T.J. Jones, the right man in the right place. I thought Atkinson had a chance to secure the football, but an alert T.J. Jones holds on to it and gets a pivotal touchdown for Notre Dame here in this game. Senior from Roswell, Georgia. Went to Gainesville High School down there. Brenta, who's handling everything for Notre Dame, tacks on the extra point. Koyak is the H-back, sets up on the right wing. Atkinson trying to swing outside and nothing doing. Michigan overloaded the, the line of scrimmage. In trouble. Under pressure. Throwing it away. 44 yard attempt. A tight football game. Deadlocked at 10. Replay. So it's second down and 11. Gardner going to toss it down to the screen to the tight end. And they get to within one yard. Devin Funches wearing Ron Kramer's famous 87 almost got the first down. Watch his big left Paul go up there and just palm that football. They are excited about this young sophomore and what he can do. A little touch pass. Again, that tight spiral allows receivers to be able to make plays like this and now gives them a chance here to execute on third and short. He's almost really a receiver playing tight end at 235 pounds. Here's the Bo Schimbecker look. The fullback in front of the tailback. Third down and one. And here it comes. First down and more. The yeah, icer that, that fullback and Fitz Toussaint comes right through that hole. We've seen this play for years. First time ends, I'm telling you. David's a good one downfield, especially. Second down and seven in a foot race. Now Gardner can move. Now he's got throw back into the middle, and it's complete for a first down. How about him hitting Bud, another tight end, but how about Gardner on the move? And his ability to get away from Stefan Tewitt. Tewitt's 322 pounds. He knows what's coming. He's there. He just underestimates the speed, and he just could not stay with Devin Gardner. I love how Devin Gardner, he knows what he has to do right there to get outside to break the tank, but once he does, he makes a little point to Bud and says, Hey, find that opening in that zone, throw it, pick up the first down. So here's your first and goal. Tucson is hit in that backfield, and Danny Fox comes across. Dan Fox comes across. Play action, Gardner 
Stands tall, fires incomplete. And penalty flag is thrown. Gallon the target. And the flag is thrown, and it's going to be a pushing call against the Irish. Gardner will take it on back to the pistol formation. Got to hurry. Just did get it off. Shows option. Cut back. Touchdown, Gardner and the Wolverines. Give Devin Gardner wearing 98 all the credit there. That's what his head coach is telling him. Great job of recognizing the look that we looked at all week. He made the check at the line of scrimmage, got back in the shotgun. Notre Dame was confused based on that look. Got him out of position, and we know what he can do running the football. Absolutely. And Gibbons tacks on the extra point. Wolverine go back up by seven. So it's really an easy play. It's a look that they focused on all week, and he's able to take it into the end And look zone. what's happening, though. Time out. He's, he's confused, too. What's my clock? Uh oh, now watch, now watch this. I had it all the way. Uh, he's like, hey, what are you going to do? Oh, you got to love Brady. We'll go empty. The five men out. Complete snatched out of the air by Jones, who goes down. T.J. Jones. Well, these guys are in sync. This is zone coverage. Out of the backfield. He fires incomplete. <laughs> Second down and ten. Reese stands tall, fires incomplete. And down again is Jones. Running back along the side. Going to drop it off to the running back. Could not get the corner. He is brought down on a very nice tackle by Countess. Great play by Blake Countess. This will be a 24-yard field goal attempt from the right half. Curls it in. Trailing by four. 17-13 Wolverines. Gardner kept it. Got around the corner. We've seen this last drive. Just outside. Second and four, Gardner again. They're not accounting for the quarterback, and he has speed. Out of bounds with a 20-yard line. That was a great read by him, Murray. He sure did a great job here. Al Borges is saying, all right, they're going to play this kind of kind of uh, defense. We're going to go back to the old-style offense that we ran with Denard Robinson. This guy can run that offense, too. To the left. Play action. Gardner going to throw back. Middle, Gallon comes back and gets it. And now it is a manageable third down at least. It's back near the 21-yard line. What a great job of adjusting. Certainly within Gibbons' range now. They'll see what they can do on third down to move the chains. Gardner's going to go back, toss to the far end zone, jump ball. Gallon couldn't hang on, and that time Russell gets the better of it. 38-yarder. Looks true. Good. 16 straight field goals for Brendan Gibbons. The senior who went to Cardinal Newman High School. 10 of 18 for 139 yards for Reese. Flushed out of the pocket. Forced to run to the left, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Countess. Blake Countess with an alley. Cuts back. And Countess... With a terrific interception. And that's the one thing that Tommy Reese cannot do as a Notre Dame quarterback. Well, he had 30 turnovers coming in tonight, and this is his 20th career start. He knows it. He's worked so hard on this. The one area, as you say, is it's not just forcing the ball. It's when he, when he has to move, when he has to create. Gardner's in trouble. This takes off, moves toward that first down marker, and he's got it. Great. From the right, caught in the end zone by Gallon for the touchdown.
The GG combination is alive in Ann Arbor. And these guys have worked their tails off for this kind of night, this kind of opportunity, the back shoulder. It's all about timing and feel. Balls in the air, thrown away from the defender. There's really nothing he could do on a perfectly thrown ball and perfect execution by Gardner and Jeremy Gallon. But Gallon is a good-looking receiver. So the touchdown comes after the interception. And the Wolverines go out by a pair of scores. Notice how I said, gee, and gee, I'm warming up for m and <laughs> On that rush holds. Jones hangs on this time for the first down. Yeah, and I think Michigan, they've, they've done a really good. Carlisle stays in the backfield. Motion out. And catches the ball. Under heavy pressure that time. Second and five. Cut back by Carlisle. That was beautiful vision by Amir who picked up that hole and a first down as we check in first down and 10 complete Chris Brown the sophomore we're hanging out up here with him and him and Texas is at defense with five receivers not just TJ Jones but the undersized Jones Atkinson Battles for the first down. Into that window. Second and ten. Middle. Complete. Battling and not going to get the first down that time. I mean, the entire Wolverine defensive unit swarms all over Troy Nicholas after the catch. Caught by Daniels. First down for Notre Dame. On the changeup call. Stole it from him. Play action. Tommy fires complete. Reaching in for the end zone. Touchdown, Nicholas. There's your tough guy tight end. There he is. That's a Notre Dame tight end. 6'5, 270. Soft hands by the big fella, too. And Wilson does his best to try to make a play. That was a great play by Nicholas. I sure believe he was. kept his it's knee up on Wilson's body down. and then got the hand down yeah. and reached in. Terrific move. Must be what the a, shoes. And a 12-play, 90-yard drive took over five minutes. And as I said, if they're able to score on this drive, you make it a one-possession game. We're still in the third quarter. Notre Dame's right back in this game. Jackson is right there showing man on him right now. But Robinson going to take off and picks up the first down. On third and eight, Devin Gardner, making like Denard Robinson, picks up the first down. I'm right there with you. I mean, the, this is the part of this offense that makes you do you think about Denard Robinson, and he can do this. This is a design run. It's a draw. Receiver Jeremy Gallon's trying to pick up a block downfield. Fitz Toussaint's trying to do it. That's a career high, by the way. For Devin Gardner here tonight. Deep drop. Gonna go deep downfield. Go for the home run, and it's grabbed at the 24 yard line. Jeremy Gallon again. A little bit of play action. Watch 41 Farley sink up in and then finally get back. And when he hustles to get back, he and Austin Collinsworth. A little bit out of position, but the ball is just perfectly thrown. Tight coverage. Uh, Grayson here. The Wolverines leading 27-20 and driving again. They were just shy of the first down. Tucson picks it up this time. So Michigan with a first down from Ball League. I'm told him to stick right here. He would not hurt at all for one more year. Dropping it off. Gallon dives in zone. Got it. My, what a night for 21. Desmond Howard is in attendance, and he's making Desmond proud. 177 yards and three touchdowns here tonight. Great call. Play action. Again, utilizing the speed 
of Devin Gardner getting him on the edge with the ability to run or throw, and he finds his man. There's something about the maize and blue 21 that when he goes up against Notre Dame, good things happen. And how about that block right there by Jeremy Jackson? That was beautiful. Wasn't Junior it? Hemingway a couple years ago, Desmond, of course. Now tonight. There is Des on the sideline trying to act impartial as Gibbons tacks on the extra point. Drops it off underneath. Jones could not quite get the first down, but uh, third and short coming up here. What great job of recognizing again the linebacker blitz, James Ross, number 15, who's lined up right across from TJ Jones. Second and 15. Drop on over the middle of the tight end with a little bit of a screen. Helmets off. 86 is out for a play. There's some hits going on out there right now. Makes it third and three and oh, 18. <laughs> Hit for a loss. Taylor. It's a great call by Greg Madison, not just to blitz, but blitz by Blake Countess, 18, who timed it, disguised that blitz perfectly. Look how tight the coverage is. They were anticipating, based on their research and scouting report, the quick throw to the outside. That puts the Irish in fourth and four, down a couple of scores. And out by faking that snap count. Now he has an idea of what Michigan's in coverage-wise. Now he's got to try to communicate the right call. Gets a snap off in time under pressure again. Fires in zone incomplete. Jones the intended target, and the ball goes over. You know, earlier we saw T.J. Jones in the slot, and then Jared Wilson, a safety, was matched up against him. This time, they moved the corner, who's a better man in coverage, Blake Countess. And the pressure, he just ended up throwing it up and hoping it would come through. Great job by Greg Madison. Dialing up the pressure like that. Greg Madison brought one more than Notre Dame could handle. Second and seven. Gardner is going to get thrown for a loss that time as he was cut off and Shoemate brings him down. On third down. Forced out of the puck back in the end zone. Going to go down and throw it away. That's intercepted. Touchdown. Touchdown, Notre Dame. He should have taken the safety. A learning experience, and it's a touchdown on the interception. I just said manage the game. Stefan to it. Oh. Catches it in the air. This is what Notre Dame needed. Austin Collinsworth gets to him. Fred Shimmer gets, gets to him as well. And what an effort. Keep in mind, Stefan Tewitt is 6'6", 322 pounds, making that play. Great effort by Austin Collinsworth to get to Gardner. And Gardner's going to learn from that. Manage the game. No question about this one. And the Irish moved to within one touchdown, 10. Tommy Reese and the Irish trying to rally for the tie here in the fourth quarter. And Atkinson up the middle. And he is just short of the 35-yard line. Fred, look at the safeties from Michigan and look at the depth that they have. On first down, deep right. Jones juggling as he went out of bounds, so it's incomplete. I think you saw him. You had a good view as he came out of bounds. He was juggling that football. Rolling to the left. That time, snapped down by Nicholas, the tight end. Gordon was the defender, and Reese took a hit. Yeah, he sure did. James Ross got through there and recognized the pressure. Reese almost intercepted at the 10-yard line by Ross, who has been very active here in the second half. Had a shot at that pick. You look at Tommy Reese here. Ross is here. Here's Jones, who's coming across. And I think he underestimated the athletic ability of Ross. I don't know if he thought Ross might sink with T.J. Jones and follow him across, but he just drops back into coverage. 
And Notre Dame catches a break, the fact that Ross drops the interception. And they will go for the field goal, the long field goal here. Still a lot of time left, and this is a 40-yarder for Brenza. And he tacks it on. 34-30. Notre Dame's overloading the line of scrimmage, leaving their corners out there isolated. And they back out of it. Toussaint breaks free in a foot race. Big run. Toussaint to the 46-yard line with that run. And that is a huge 22-yard run for the Wolverines. Jackson rustles him down. Matthias Farley's got to make this play for Notre Dame. Great effort by Toussaint, but watch him right there. Stop and go, and 41 grabs air. If he makes that play, it's third down and five. What a cut by Fitz Toussaint. As a result of that, Gardner lobs it wide open. Coming out of the backfield that time, Toussaint. There was nobody who picked up the running back. A breakdown with the defense, and it's 26 yards. Here we go. Yeah. It wasn't anybody individually that got beaten on it, as you said. Third down and 12. Sideline intercepted. Picked off by Jackson. But there's a penalty flag. Hold on now. He was out of bounds as he picked it off. The ruling is incomplete, but there's a flag. So it wouldn't matter if it had been inbounds or not. So it's an automatic first down on the pass interference. So really a true first-year starter. Rolling to the right, to it in pursuit. Drops it off underneath. Completes it to his big tough tight end. Punches. Fox looking to bring him down. Throwing on third down, middle, juggle incomplete, and another penalty is called. That's Farley defending Funches. This time, Brent, I think it is it is the right call. I don't know about the last one, but this time Farley That's just grabs on. Defense number 41. Ball will be placed at the two-yard line. First down. Farley's 5'10. Yep. Bill just whistled up a pass. Touchdown! Dilio, Drew Dilio. And as Herbie just mentioned, that, folks, could be the dagger. The two pass interference calls, huge in that drive. But Al Borges' play calling. Yeah. And his confidence in old 98 has really paid off here tonight. Gibbons tacks on the extra point. He's kind of looking over Brian Kelly for some instructions. They move Blake Countess the corner over top of it. On third and nine, middle got it. Nice throw down the middle to Nicholas for the first down. 242. Fires complete again. And a good battle by Nicholas for that first down. They're doing everything they can to hold on to those timeouts. Obviously, the more first downs that they're able to pick up and stop the clock. Better Tommy Reese. He's frustrated right now. Brian Kelly is with the officials. He's very upset that they didn't stop that clock right away right. on the first down. He thought it was pretty easy. Michigan's keeping every, trying to keep everything in front and trying to hope as much clock can come off as possible on this drive. Pocket holes. Goes deep in zone incomplete. And uh, Brown was out of, out of bounds. Down. You can see valuable seconds ticking off. Might have been tempted to burn a timeout there with all three of them. Stop that clock from moving. Reese fires complete to Jones. Now that'll stop it. He's out of bounds. Out of bounds and picks up the first down. 
This is where Jones is always a factor, and so is the big the big tight end, Troy Nicholas. They need a quick score here, onside kick. Following that, they score. The good hands people from Michigan better get ready. You take your shots into the end zone. That way you avoid having to use any of your timeouts. Looking for the quick strike. Reese from the middle. Deflected, intercepted. On the deflection, Blake counters again. We saw a ball earlier deflected, and it worked in the favor of Notre Dame in the exact same location on the field. This time, that ball had some heat on it. It actually went off, it looked like, at the foot of Raymond Taylor, number six. See, this ball is humped. This ball is coming. It goes through Carlisle, off the foot of Taylor, and then up into the air to Countess. That off of his knee and up into the air. So Blake Countess with two interceptions. And those are the first two of his career. How about a night coming back from knee surgery last year. And now the Wolverines working on that clock. Take another look at this because. I, you know, he, Tommy Reese, I think, felt he just had to get rid of the football right in the middle of the defense. Anything can happen as we've seen tonight. State game could be so good. Let's do it all over. Whether they could play the last <laughs> game of the season and then go to the championship, but they win the division. Yes. Old 98. Devin Gardner sits down with the first down. So he's honored tonight. Presented with the Tom Harmon number. Legendary 98 takes the number 12 off. You don't tug on Superman's cape. He had a brilliant football game here tonight. Made that one error that kept Notre Dame in it. But otherwise, 21 of 33, 294 yards. He rushed for 82 yards. He has thrown for four touchdowns and run for another. Devin Gardner is the man of the hour in Ann Arbor as the Wolverines will just take a knee now. You know, Brett, we've waited to see Devin Gardner take the reins of this offense. We talked in the offseason about what it could potentially mean to Michigan's offense. We all talked this morning about this is where we really find out how good he can be with Al Borges calling the plays and Devin Gardner's ability to run and throw. Tonight, we got a glimpse and a taste of much more than what's to come this year for Michigan's offense. Let's go down now to Heather Cox. Brent, thanks so much, Coach. You remain undefeated as the head coach of the Michigan Wolverines. What was the key to getting to 16-0 tonight in this environment with this rivalry? Well, I think our kids hung in there. Our offense did a nice job. Defensively, we had to make a stop. We made a stop, and, you know, it's one of those ball games. Yeah, it's certainly undefeated in this stadium. And, Coach, what did you learn about Devin Gardner and his growth tonight? Well, I... We think he's a pretty good quarterback, and I like uh, what he does for our team. Obviously, uh, we got one little play in there, we got to clean up, but uh, he did a nice job for us. And Coach, certainly a coming out party for this new pro-style offense. Is this the future of Michigan offense for the next couple years? Well, I think so, as long as they'll have us. And that future is also Devin Gardner. Coach, congratulations. Devin, congratulations on a great win. Wearing the new number. That hurt, huh? Come on. That did hurt. Wearing the new number at 98. How inspired were you by the honor of wearing Tom Harmon's number? Such an honor. You know, the things that he did, you know, got into a plane crash and survived it. You know, the, the things he did on the field, but off the field, he was a great person. And I just feel honored. They feel like I'm that type of person that they allow me to wear his number. Things got a little bit closer than you probably would have liked in the fourth quarter with the interception in the end zone. What did you learn from that moment? Oh, just don't. That was one of the causes of the interception. Desperately avoiding the sack. And 
and I'm just happy my our defense, you know, they, they came out, they continued to fight for me and for the offense, and then we practiced finishing all summer and finishing everything we do, and tonight we finished. How good does it feel right now in front of the biggest crowd ever in the big house to get this done? I mean, I can't even explain it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can, you can see the look on my face and my teammates, how much it, how, how good it feels. I mean, I just can't even explain it right now. Pretty big smile. Congrats, Devin. Brent, back to you. Thank you, Heather. Derby, your final thought. Well, it, you just heard from a guy who's going to have a great year, and he's a class act. And, and when your leader is that kind of guy, that gives you a chance to do some special things. He's, he's very, very humble. Uh, this is his night. He deserves to celebrate and enjoy it. In Michigan, I think, pretty excited about what they have this year as a football team. Notre Dame's got to regroup, get ready for a game next week against Purdue in West Lafayette. 41-30. The Wolverines win it. And you know, like, like Kirby said, we will follow the Fighting Irish, see if they get back on the winning track when they take on Purdue. And a reminder, don't miss the debut of our new music video by Eminem. That'll be at the opening of the broadcast next Saturday night on ABC. Big win for Brady Hope and the Wolverines here tonight over Notre Dame.